All right, welcome to the the big finale, the final stages on the Rogue One uh, piece. This is primarily going to be uh, the highlights, the very last section of the whole project. You can see here I'm still working with the colored pencils, and there'll be a little bit of airbrush at the end as well. But basically what you're doing at this point is uh, whatever illustration you're working on, come back as a final pass, tighten up anything that's either gotten a little loose or some of the details that you want to back add back into it because that's really when it's going to pop. It's going to have the pizzazz. This is one of my favorite sections of working on an illustration is that last, you know, couple of hours. Uh, this segment here was uh, about an hour or a little shy of an hour and a half. And uh, I'm just focusing on making the illustration crisp and tight in the areas I want. Uh, now again, even the background, it's uh, it's still getting a few highlights in the schematic, but um, I'm not going nutty with the highlights now. When it comes uh, to doing the figures like Captain Cassian and Jin Erso, uh, this is where I really am establishing the light source. You can see I'm, for the most part, only adding in uh, white into the right side uh, of his face in the illustration. And then I'll come in here in a second and start hitting the nice uh, fur part there on his... Uh, his jacket and uh, really adds uh, that the light's playing across that and that the texture is nice and soft. So it frames the face nicely. Uh, and having the highlights is super key because this is really where the illustration goes to the next level as far as a finished piece. It's not just a drawing. Uh, it's kind of a multimedia piece, but notice how those eyes start to really pop. And uh, if you're working on faces, really concentrate on these facial features. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, I, I see so many uh, emerging artists who struggle with a, a nose or a lips or a mouth. And, and trust me, we all do. It's, it's not coming from uh, any sort of ego when I'm talking about these portions. Uh, I, I want everybody's art to be great. Uh, and if you keep watching these demonstrations, hopefully you'll uh, learn something and it'll make your art uh, better as well. But uh, really take your time when you're working on the eyes and the lips and the nose. Refer back to your uh, subject matter as much as possible. Look at those photographs. Really learn to see. It, it's not so much about training your hand what to do and, and learning to draw. Most of what is learning to draw is actually learning to see. Uh, and it sounds silly, but the, the more you understand it, uh, the more your own art uh, will improve and you'll be able to uh, like I'm doing here in this piece, add the right amount of detail, push those elements into the background or the foreground if that's what they need. You know, here I'm adding a bit of explosion and adds a little bit of dynamics over to the left hand side. And then uh, I'm gonna pick up the airbrush here in a second and uh, push some of those elements even farther into the back, even a little bit more mist and such. So just keep in mind when you're working on these projects that uh, hopefully you're developing your own style. Uh, I don't uh, think that the the world needs artists to, to perfectly imitate uh, other people's art. So uh, do your own thing. You know, be expressionistic. Experiment with different materials. If you love the work of Drew Struzan, hey, by all means, take a look at it. Learn from him. But don't try to copy the style exactly and say, oh, I, you know, I want to paint exactly like him. There's already enough illustrators who already, you know, attempt to do that. And uh, uh, I, I encourage people to be be your own artist. Don't uh, don't don't copy or knock off somebody else's style. Even if you love their work, uh, take what's best in their work and make it a part of your own. Uh, and then you'll have your own unique style and voice when it comes to art. Uh, and and people will respond to your art better, and they'll have a lot more respect for what you create. So. Uh, hopefully that advice uh, helps you, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of five videos on the creation of uh, this Rogue One original that was done on the day the movie was released. Thanks again, and subscribe now.